Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Decipherer and I help you to crack the code of your sleeping dreams so you can sleep sound and dream deep. This evening just have one dream but it just shows how uh, topical our dreams can be that uh, express the maybe hidden fears, concerns, feelings that, that we may not be acknowledging during our waking hours. So let's get into it. It's a short dream. Uh, the dreamer reports that it had traveled into central London. And while there, there were new lockdown rules instituted. And so the dreamer was forced to, to isolate uh, with everyone that he, he had been in contact with in the last 24 hours, uh, which included his boss um, and a fellow martial artist um, from a, a different group. And they were all housed in a, a warehouse with lots of bunk beds. And that's the end of the dream, very short dream, but still, there's quite a bit of information that can be pulled out of it. The first thing um, is that, well, it's obviously referring uh, to COVID, but it's been popping up in people's dreams in different ways. They dream of invasions by insects, bugs, um, <laughs> and different things. So it may come out, um, concerns about COVID may come out in more obvious ways, and as in this dream, or in more subtle ways through plays on words and metaphors and different things. But in any case, the dreamer reports traveling despite um, impending restrictions being imposed or reimposed in, as we are currently in another lockdown. And there's something perhaps about either ignoring advice or perhaps being a bit like an ostrich and burying your head in the sand and pretending it doesn't exist. Um, my question to the dreamer was, what was so urgent that um, with the possibility of lockdown occurring that he had to travel? What was going on that was so important that travel was necessary? Um, and there also seems to be an implication of perhaps a lack of forethought or preparation um, implied here as well. Now, the dreamer was forced to isolate with people he had been in contact with in the last 24 hours, which included his boss and a fellow martial artist. My question here was, well, what about the family? I mean, it certainly must have been in contact with family members unless he lived alone. So what about the family? Were they put into advise and put into isolation as well? Um, it just seems like an almost glaring omission. Now, the people that the dreamer was isolated with were placed in a warehouse in bunk beds and the thought that came to me with that is like it, treating people almost like they were merchandise, you know, like to be stored on shelves somewhere. Um, there's also the implication of being stacked up or penned in like cattle. Um, and is there's a question here as to whether the arrangements made were actually um, adequate for what was required, and which goes back to my earlier point about a, a lack of forethought of, or um, preparation. Um, what there is per also perhaps an implication in a wider sense of um, the efficacy of lockdown in the first place. Um, and there is an ongoing debate about that, whether it works, whether you know, you do the Swedish way where they don't isolate or you, you fully isolate or halfway in between. Um, the jury's very much out on this one, I think. Um, then the this warehouse was full of bunk beds. I mean, you could think of hospital wards. You could think of the, the Nightingale Hospital, which had been constructed here in the UK to um, at the very be very first pandemic. Um, which kept the infection rates fairly low because they isolated people quickly. 
So there's an implication here, perhaps, of an orderly storage um, or in isolation of people. The bunk beds also made me think of childhood, actually. Um, and perhaps there's an implication there that the people are being treated like children. Um, you know, the, the nanny state the, that um, tries to control every aspect of everybody's life. And there are arguments around that as well as whether the government is too paternalistic in its care. And now in this space, how many people exactly um, went into this isolation unit that the dreamer speaks of? Um, how many people were they socially distanced inside this warehouse? Um, in bunk beds, um, you know, there's just some questions about the logistics of it all. And my other question was, well, how did the dreamer actually get to the warehouse? I mean, was it right next door? Did they have to take them in, in groups or something to remove them to this place? What exactly, how did that exactly go on? So there there's, seems to be, if you look at the, the different threads and, that are touched upon in this dream, that while there is concerns, um, obvious concerns about, about COVID and its transmission and spread and what have you, there's, there seems to be two schools of thought. It's like either just get on with it and you know either you get it or you don't and stop with all the restrictions and let us get back to business. Um, and others who are more cautious and say that, you know, we really need to do things to get a handle on it. Um, there's a, supposed to be vaccines in the pipe very, very soon. And um, that may be promising. We'll see. But there's, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of confusion and certainly a lot of fear uh, around all of this. The only people who aren't fearful, I have to say it. Um, are the drug companies, they're rubbing their hands in glee um, at the millions they're going to make with these vaccines. So there you have it. Um, it just goes to show that dreams will um, act as, in this case, as a bit of a smokestack and expressing some of the, the feelings that the dreamer may have around COVID and how it's being treated and how people are being treated. And as I said, the, the dreams can manifest themselves in different ways, either outright or they can be a little bit more clever um, and disguise our fears in, in slightly different ways or more creative ways, I like to think. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a great evening and rest of the week. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.